these days? Formerly, you were saying marriage used to be a beautiful thing. I think formerly marriage existed as a construct to control women. You Stop the cap. That? Yeah, women were actually Wait. always chasing guys to get married. Women were actually chasing guys to get married because that was his protector. That was the guy who's paying um, for the house and things like that. So Wait, exactly. yeah, but don't you understand on, on, the systemic okay. sexism that has led women to the like that led women to the point of needing to get married? Bar Mar women more marriage happy was now? marriage was not something to control women. I you monkey simps are gonna marry a feminist, which you, which is will be the worst mistake of your life, cause she gonna bait and switch you like crazy. She gonna take your kids. She gonna pray mantis you. You gonna spend sixty thousand dollars on uh, in vitro fertilization, in which you get the pleasure of jacking off into a petri dish to some prawn while they inject your feminist wife with some babies at age 42 and then you just hope and pray that one takes and then you do it again and again 80,000 100,000 dollars down and guess what you finally get her pregnant and you have no triplets <laughs>
and not just pure sociology. Because when people want to bring up this idea of, oh, gender is just a societal thing. No, it's not. No, it is not. You can't change who you are. You can't change your chromosomes. You can't change the DNA structure. And I realize these are all things around marriage. I understand that. But the reason that feminism has marred marriage, this thing goes way, way back. This is nothing new. And if this is new to you, I don't know where, what planet you've been living on. But feminism is not about equality. I know you've been lied to and you think that it is, but it is not. In fact, I've played on the show before. I forget which video. Frankly, I've lost track. But I remember mentioning Rockefeller and going back to the women's the early women's lib movement and the women's rights movement. It was funded by Rockefeller and his words to tax the other half of the population, number one, and number two, to get the children out of the hands of the parents into the hands of the state so they could become better workers and become more productive citizens that he could then use. Now, you can call that a conspiracy theory. It's discussed. I don't know if it's still on YouTube. It was on YouTube at one point. It might still be there. But I think it was It's Aaron Rousseau. Is that the guy's name? I think it is. But it's him talking. He, he knew Rockefeller. And he talked about this. It, this is nothing new. If you understand the history of the women's rights movement, this is nothing new. But the reason I bring this up is because men and women are equal in the sense that they bring equal important things to the table and not necessarily equal by your standards maybe but when you look at it it's a biological sorry it's a biological transaction that's what it is the if the one party views what the other party has as an equal transaction it becomes a business deal i know that's a very unromantic and unflattering way to put it but that is the base of what most relationships are. Every relationship is transactional. And when you get down to feminism, the reason that feminism is marred in marriage is it has subverted tradition, but it's still you still expect people to be traditional. Let me let me explain this a little bit differently. Who do you think is expected to pay for most of the bills and be quote the masculine one in the relationship? Usually it's the man. Right? But the woman doesn't want to be feminine. The woman doesn't want to submit to the husband. She doesn't want to do her. She wants to be progressive in her thinking, but she wants you to be traditional in your thinking. And then you wonder why this doesn't work out. You can't put a positive and a positive or a negative and a negative together. It doesn't work. They naturally repel. It doesn't work. You can't put progressive thinking with traditionalism. It just does not work. Because then people are going to be unhappy. Whether it's the woman who's, statistically speaking, the unhappy one. I think in last time I checked, around 80% of divorces were filed by women. Oh yeah, 80%. And then you want to tell us men that we're the problem, when in fact they're the ones who are leaving. And not the men who are leaving. Look, I know this is a very complicated and very touchy issue for people who have been through it, and I, I, I can sympathize for that. Empathize is different, but I can sympathize with it. The problem is, even if you're a religious person listening to this show, you are not immune to this. There's this notion in religious, especially in Christianity, that you want to be in the world but not of it. The problem is with the culture being so counter to the religious beliefs of pretty much every sect of every religion that I am aware of, it's super hard to have a corporate jo have a corporate job, be in work in secular culture, and then not have that overflow into your life at some level. And it could be drip, drip, drip of poison. It eventually is going to infect you. It's an it's unavoidable, and the statistics bear this out. And my friends, I don't like to say this. I wish I could get up here and talk about how marriage is sacred, which it is. And then talk about how everybody should go for it because it works and it's great and it's still as strong as ever. Unfortunately, it's just not true. It's just false. It doesn't actually play out that way anymore. Data supports this. You look outside and you look at the fact that men are checking out. Let me ask you something. 
What do men actually get out of a relationship? Gentlemen, what do you get out of a relationship? When you're a young guy like me and you're in your 20s, late teens, whatever, of course you're going to get married. Because you don't see what a no-fault divorce can do to you. You don't see, uh, I believe it's the marriage wheel. Shout out to CGA. I love his channel, by the way. I don't want it to seem like I'm ripping him off and not giving him credit. When he talks about the marriage wheel, which is fantastic, he did a show about this recently. Everyone goes through the similar pattern of marriage because everybody has a similar human condition that we can all relate to. There's a template that most people live by. It can look a little different, but by and large, people deal with the same problems as we always have from the beginning of time. And when you look at it, humans are not naturally monogamous creatures. We would like to think that we are because morally speaking, in our, in our Puritan-oriented moral nation we like to believe that we are but historically speaking it's just not true people are more polygynous or polygamous by nature and that's just the way it works people don't want to admit this because it makes them seem like a bad person you're not a bad person now can it work for some people absolutely the problem is it, it's pushed as if it's a one-size-fits-all for everybody and it's just not true now i'm not telling you to break the law well, I'm not telling you to jump into a marriage because jumping into a marriage today is a horrible idea, especially if you're a dude, because you stand everything to lose and you'll do it all pretty much for just consistent sex. I mean, if you're totally honest and you stop BSing me with the, the okie doke of, oh, I don't care about sex. It's all about the relationship and it's all about the connection. It's all about, uh, stop it. Stop it. St stop with the BS. I'm not listening to it. We all know what it is. Stop lying. Do I need to play the clip? I'll play it. Stop lying! I, I don't understand why people be out here lying about... It's all... Sex is so important, by the way. Look, people want to downplay this, especially if you're religious. I get it. It's kind of day class say. It's kind of the third rail of the uh, polite Christian society or polite Puritan society. You don't want to talk about sex. I get it. The problem is it's extremely important because without it, you wouldn't have a marriage. That's what separates your marriage from your friendships. Tell me I'm lying. You can't tell me I'm lying because I'm not. And the reason that feminism has marred marriage and why it ties in is women have been taught to be more masculine and men have been taught basically to, to sh sit down, shut up and accept it and take it. Because there was a time in society when men basically could do whatever the hell they want and get away with it. Now the opposite is true. And women can do whatever the hell they want. And get away with it. And men have to take it. We're seeing a blowback. On what has historically been the case. Now. Where does that leave us? That leaves us with marriage. Having traditional roots. With unorthodox approach. Which is what we find in the modern day American society. And that's why it's not working. Feminism has freed men, by the way. If you're a, even whether you're religious, not religious, it's freed you to say, "Hey, I'm gonna develop my own personal philosophy. I'm gonna develop my own way of thinking, so that I don't have to just follow the script, follow the okie doke. I don't gotta do any of that anymore because it's designed to make me look and act like a fool. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm not telling you to sin. I'm not telling you to break the law. I'm not telling you to do any of those things." I'm telling you is think for yourself. If you think for yourself and you find that everything you believe right now is something you agree with and you want to stick with, nothing wrong with that at all. As long as you've actually thought it through and you've decided that that's what you want to do, not just accept it because it's what you've been told to accept or conditioned to believe is true and then therefore you must do. That is something I want everybody listening to the show to do is develop your own personal philosophy. And that's why I talk about at, in detail and at length in Biblical Bachelor, my book coming out on the 31st, why I believe that men should become Biblical Bachelors and not married men without leverage and without options and without perspective. Because it's really easy to just rush into it. And I, I know some of my best friends have done it. God bless them. I hope their marriage is fantastic. I love them. I just don't think that that's right for everybody. And I think you're taking a big risk by doing that. And I want to make sure you put your best foot forward and not just jump off the cliff because you've been told to jump.
I want you to take the leap of faith that you want to take, not the one that you're just being pushed into taking. My friends, marriage is supposed to be beautiful, and the problem is it's being destroyed. It's being marred. Its quality is being dis disheveled, and it makes me sick. And that's why I don't know if I can be, be a married guy. Why? Because I don't trust the other person, number one. And number two, they have every... Getting into a marriage today, look, for those of you who don't know how the marriage laws work, your wife is essentially incentivized to break the contract that you signed. Oh, I know you made promises at the altar and you exchanged rings and beautiful vows and everybody cried and they boohooed and it was great and it was beautiful and wonderful. I get it. But when you get down to brass tacks and they get down to, to the money, money talks and the rest walks. And when you look at the money, money says, hey, your wife is incentivized to get you to invest for a certain amount of time so she can take the kids, the alimony, and take your ass to child support court, take your ass to divorce court, and just rail you for the cash for the next 18 years or 23 if you live in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. That's just the fact of reality. I'm not saying that every person, every woman will do that. I'm saying that they have the option available to them if they want to do that and a lot of women talk about it on tiktok like it's a business oh yes oh yes you thought you were safe out here you thought it was just the skeezers out here in these streets doing it oh no my friends you're mistaken a lot of women are out here doing it. it's like a new business plan they can have their cake and eat it too they can use your money and so get piped down by chad tyrone ray ray pablo you name it oh yeah they can now, they may not always do that, but they can, and it is available to them courtesy of the current laws, and that could happen at any time. She could say that that could not be the case today or then for the next five years or 10 years, but maybe at the 11th year mark, suddenly that might change. You never know. Women are loyal to their feelings, and the feelings are very fleeting, and they could be very dangerous to somebody who doesn't rely on them like you if you're a man. My friends, I want you to make the best decision that's going to be best for your future. And so you win in the long term and don't make short-term deals for short-term gain that could end up really hurting you in the long run. If marriage works the way it's intended, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The problem is it doesn't work that way for most people these days. And it makes me really sad to see it. But my friends, that's why feminism is marred marriage. It's freed men to do what we want to do and to open our eyes up to what historically we couldn't do. But you got to have the guts to step out of the matrix, take whether it to take the red pill and jump out of the matrix and say, hey, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to go the way I want to go. I'm going to think for myself and I'm going to take that leap of faith that no one expected me to do. People might say that I'm bugging, that I'm crazy, that I'm tripping. But guess what? I'm not going by their playing by their rules anymore. I'm thinking for myself. My friends, I want you to be a free thinker, not just someone who's falling for the okie doke. Because they've been conditioned to do it. My friends, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless America. Have a great evening. Hopefully I gave you some food for thought. I'm out of here. Peace.